situation of such management is definitely impossible. And I will add, it will destroy freedom on our planet. An important change should occur and conditions be changed to, benefit, to the benefit of humans. We should all rise to establish a new world based on fair mechanisms, common logic based on peaceful coexistence through understanding, cooperation and participation in important collective decision making at global level. In this regard, the most important and main issue is the, is the global management which should be fundamentally and principally reformed. Otherwise, if we sit together for years without reforming the current global governance fundamentally and take thousands of small and big decisions and try to implement them, our period will also terminate without any fundamental and detrimental change. In the joint global governance, fundamental changes should happen for the benefit of nation and in line with justice. It is clear that global, global governance should have two specific features. First, love and compassion towards common divine and humanistic values such as justice, freedom, human dignity, realization of rights, mutual respect and affection toward humankind across the globe. Dear colleagues, without promoting compassion and founding our deeds and decisions on affection and replacing selfishness and bullying in relations between humans with friendship, the establishment of peace, serenity, progress and welfare will be impossible. Slavery, colonialism, plundering and domineering and warmongering are the result of the lack of compassion and affection in the hearts of a few but powerful people who are promoting hatred and selfishness. We should be promoting friendship and compassion. The global management should be in the hands of people whose hearts are full of compassion and affection towards humans, righteousness, justice, freedom and human dignity. Those who become sad when nations are sad and those who are happy when nations are happy. Those who love all and all love them. Those who are not seeking per personal partisan and group interests, those who are not seeking domination over others, but prefer the rights and interests of humans over anything else. And secondly, joint participation in global management. Experience has it that monopoly in any area and more importantly in the global management will bring about corruption. A mechanism should be devised so that all countries Participate in the global management in an atmosphere of fairness and sympathy and based on compassion and affection. Monopoly in global management should be broken. If all countries have active participation in global management, no opportunity will be provided for certain countries to discriminate and bully others and impose their own will on all. In this way, opportunity will be provided for all to make use of the available facilities. It is clear that Basics of thought and social interaction should change from selfishness and bullying to compassion. Affection and interaction based on justice and respect. The realization of such a big human cause is the mission of you and me. I believe this is the fundamental cure for the diseases which have plagued the human society for several hundred years and it can be administered. We enjoy great capacities. Under joint participation, we can devise necessary mechanisms such as independent political arbitration, council and monetary fund, bank, insurance and other economic bodies. We can also invent new methods of commerce such as barter and currency swap and end domination of one specific foreign currency from global transactions. We can provide better conditions for our nations and have more effective and constructive impact on global management mechanisms. We can implement our plans more efficiently and promptly in order to safeguard our culture for the betterment of our youth and women. The non-aligned movement in order to guarantee its survival and expedite the achievement of its supreme goals should found entities to make use of the capacities of the youth and women for the global flourishing of the movement. I believe that the wishes and founders of the non-aligned movement can be summarized in the realization of the idea of joint global
global management which would guarantee the establishment of sustainable peace based on justice, freedom and human dignity. A heavy responsibility is on our shoulder. The capacities of the Lon and I movement and the member and observer states are much bigger. Our movement can play a determining role in international relations to the benefit of members and to the benefit of peace and justice. We can establish a temporary secretariat and open necessary bodies for the organization and consolidation of the powers of the member states in various political, economic and cultural areas as well as bilateral and multilateral cooperation in order to build a better world and to establish sustainable peace. The movement can help the United Nations and its subsidiaries in an organized manner to reform the standing management structures and approaches. The noble nation of Iran, thanks to its historical experience and great achievements in confrontation with the pressures and problems created by oppressor powers, is fully prepared to use all its capacities in cooperation with you to reform the standing global management and establish a good global governance in view of your participation. We are fortunately in a turning point in history. Marxism has collapsed and the bullying capitalism is reaching its end. Its historical days are numbered. It, this reality is indicative of the correctness of the non-aligned nations who have identified and denounced the historical diversion of tyrant regimes. Today is the day of nations. Today is the day of redefining and pursuing the main causes of the non-aligned movement and planning for the realization of all human causes and goals. Without a doubt, if the capacities of this great movement are properly exploited, it is possible to have a better and shorter transition from the status quo to the new era with less harm and open a new nice chapter in global landscape to humanity. Fortunately, our goals in the joint global management are the same goals of the divine prophets and the righteous in establishing sustainable peace and justice and promoting compassion and affection across the globe. The God Almighty has promised that the day when nations are prepared and determined, this great course and goal will be realized by the promised Savior of nations, the real lover of humans and the true administrator of justice. The necessary precondition for transition to such an area is to promote compassion and unity and adopt a global approach towards cooperation and joint and active global governance. This, I believe, is the right way and, in fact, the only key for humans to free themselves from the oppressors and tyrants and perceive a prosperous future for humanity, a way on which men and women will go with more knowledge, enthusiasm and steadfastness. This is the way, the way is open and now is beginning. Once again, I thank you all and all those who made their first, their best for the summit meetings to be held successfully. I truly welcome the brotherly cooperation and support of you. In closing, I'd like to add that Mahmud Ahmadinejad also acknowledges the Jesus Christ and his righteous teachings. Secondly, I would like to add that I believe in democracy. I believe that the American Constitution was established by righteous men who were raised up by God and that democracy has been the most successful system in the history of the world and under democracy people have had more freedom and opportunity than under, under any other political system. The problem is not democracy. The problem is the corruption of democracy by corrupted leaders and the destruction of the freedoms which have been established by democracy. And finally, many of the laws which established America with the laws 
for that are the laws of God. And many of these laws have been taken away. For America to prosper and for the world to prosper, men and women alike must return to God and obey His commandments which He has given all mankind. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.